Ectoin, everything you need to know about Ectoin. So let's get started. First it was hyaluronic acid. She was, you know, the original it girl. She went viral. Then it was squalene, centella, low molecular hyaluronic acid. And now it's Ectoin. Skincare before was just about having clear skin. But as people became more aware of Korean skincare, it became more about barrier health. But what is Ectoin? Ectoin is an amino acid derivative. It is produced by certain microorganisms as a response to external stresses. For example, extreme temperatures, UV, pollutants. Because of this, it's known as an extreme light. So it's produced by bacteria that thrive in extreme environments. So let's think about natural extreme environments. For example, desert, North Pole. Those are extreme opposites. Desert, really hot, dry. North Pole, freezing. And no matter your skincare knowledge, you will know that when it comes to winter, your skin will be a bit more dry. You would feel that you would experience that. And in the summer, you might wanna go for lighter layers, for your clothing, for your skincare, you might wanna go for maybe one moisturizer instead of two, you might wanna go for a gel moisturizer instead. Something that feels a bit more light in the skin. You're adapting it because the stresses around you have changed according to the seasons. And this is because, like I said, environmental stresses affect your skin. So Ectoin is produced by microorganisms that live in these harsh environments. Now this peace lily is struggling anyway, so we're just going to ignore that. And I don't know much about peace lilies, but let's, let's just use this as an example. If I take this houseplant and I put it in the North Pole, it will probably freeze. It would have ice on it and therefore die. But microorganisms that produce ectoin have a special barrier protecting it from environmental stresses such as temperature. This protective barrier helps them survive in extreme temperatures like the desert, like North Pole, like the bottom of the sea. Because in those areas, microorganisms still exist. So they survive by ectoin. Ectoin basically stabilizes their cell and protects them from damage. Keeps the moisture in and locks it in but hydrates and protects. So basically, it acts as like a protective shield. It's like, for example, if you wore a crop top and micro shorts in the North Pole, you would get hypothermia, be fatal, probably die, I don't know, but it, it wouldn't be good for you. So what do we do if we're going into a colder environment? We wear layers, we wear thermals, we wear hats, we wear gloves, we wear a coat. This is to protect us from the extreme weather, from the cold. So Ectoin works like these extra layers, keeping microorganisms safe from extreme cold, extreme heat and protecting them. Ectoin is a humectant, but how is it different from other humectants? Because we know our good, loyal, old best friends, hyaluronic acid. Other humectants you might be familiar with is glycerin, polyglutamic acid, panthenol, urea. These help to draw moisture in the skin. Ectoin does the same thing, but it also creates a protective shield. So what does it do for the skin besides hydration? And let's go deeper into the elements of protection. You can see that Ectoin retains moisture and protects it from UVA damage. UVA or ultraviolet A is a type of UV radiation you might be familiar with. So Ectoin creates a protective shield against UV guarding the skin from free radicals. Over time, UVA exposure can affect the dermis, the epidermis, the different layers of the skin. And this can contribute to issues such as hyperpigmentation. Ectoin helps to protect the skin from cellular damage and dehydration. It also helps to preserve the skin elasticity and collagen. But it also protects against photoaging. With collagen elastin, it basically will slow down wrinkles and having saggy skin. But what Ectoin also does, as mentioned in my analogies, it protects the skin barrier, reduces inflammation and aids in repair. Now, if you're like most skincare girlies, you would have watched this video and be like, oh my god, so it's great for anti-aging. But it's not just that, it's further than that. It can help with eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis. And this is why you'll find it in moisturizers like E45 at high concentrations, like 7%. If you don't suffer from these conditions, one or two percent will be effective. Now, Ectoin already is in some skincare, and I'll put a product list down below. But the reason why we're not familiar with it is because we don't have the education for it. Everyone knows about hyaluronic acid, so in marketing, we might as well say, has hyaluronic acid or it has glycerin at this percent, we might as well because people understand that. But if people are not familiar with Ectoin, if we shout about it, what's the point? That's a whole other conversation of marketing because you can edit it, educate your consumers, create a loyal base based on education or whatever. So it isn't spoken about, but it does already exist. And I predict that in this year, you will see more brands coming out with products with Ectoin. 
This month alone, we've seen Inky List come out with a barrier serum that has 2% exo in, panthenol, and I can't remember what else from the top of my head. Now, even though exo may seem novel because we don't really hear about it when it comes to skincare, it is very well researched and it isn't a novel ingredient. It was discovered in 1985 in Egypt, so an extreme environment. Now, due to its benefits, you will see it in products outside of skincare, for example, for those health conditions, but also eye drops. See, I have dry eye disease and MGD, so my eyes don't produce enough tears, and that's different from crying tears, but it doesn't produce enough tears, and it doesn't produce enough oils. So I don't have enough hydration, and I don't have anything locking in that hydration, like how we do with skincare with like an inclusive, you put an oil on top to lock everything in. My eyes can't do that. So when I try literally all of the eye drops on the market, nothing works. But this does because this has 2% ectoin and this has helped massively. Now I predict that once ectoin becomes more known we will see it in hair care as well. See it being advertised in hair care that will help to retain moisture, prevent frizz and we also might see start seeing it in um, scalp serums because it can help protect the scalp, reduce inflammation. So if you have a sensitive scalp you might see this being promoted. So in summary, ectoin is fantastic to have in your skincare routine. Because ectoin can help reduce inflammation, it hydrates, lock in moisture and protects the skin barrier, it is great if you're using any form of active, whether that's vitamin C, isolic acid, retinol. It can help make sure that your skin is able to heal whilst using strong actives like so. Also, it's suitable if you're pregnant. For example, you can't use a retinol if you're pregnant, you can't use a retinol. So how can you use ectoin in your skincare? You can use it as a sandwich method or as a repair method if you're using actives. You have used some sort of retinoid before, you know how dry your skin gets, you know have a purging period, if you use tretinoin as well. So to kind of reduce that period, you can do a sandwich method or you can have hydrating days where you focus on using products like ectoid. So in summary, it's great for hydration, locking in hydration and protecting your skin barrier as well as have some sort of anti-aging benefit but obviously for these effects you have to use it long term now i am going to put products in the description box below and because i'm very helpful i'm even going to write out the percentage of ectoin now reminder if you don't have a skin issue like dermatitis eczema psoriasis you don't need a high level concentration product my ectoin i brought a three percent ectoin the bell flower one from yes style and um, that's going to arrive tomorrow i think i'm really excited because with my autoimmune disorder, like I said, my eyes don't produce enough hydration, it doesn't have the oils. But same with my skin, so I have very dehydrated skin, like right now my skin is tight. So I'm really excited to try this because I've tried everything else. I already have down in my skincare routine 311, if you don't know what that is, just let me know, I'll make a video. I've got natural, natural moisturizing factors as well, so what I need from me is that extra boost, I need that ectoin. I've tried, for example, this Geek and Gorgeous one that has 5% glycerin and 1% ectoin and it didn't do much for my skin, but that's because I have an autoimmune disorder. If you're someone who doesn't have an autoimmune disorder, your skin is fine, you might want to give this a go. It is affordable, I think it was like £7. It is very lightweight, so it'll be perfect for the summer as well. If you've got oily skin and you like a lighter hydration, this will be fine too and it blends out so easily. It dries down so easily as well, you don't have to wait for it to be absorbed whilst you're doing your skincare routine. And it's a nice affordable option and because it has glycerin, it's extra hydrating. Geek & Gorgeous is a great, great brand in general. But if you want to have a starting product that is affordable, give this a go. I hope this video helps and if you do end up buying some of these products down below, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye!